Hey YouTube, it's JP Woodstock from Oracle Reptiles. I'm joined today by James and Aaron Woodstock as well. We're heading up to Shishlui, probably our favorite part of uh, the country. It's in northern KZN. We're going to go and see some of our friends Anton and Emma Roberts who uh, own and run um, Umkumbi Lodge just outside uh, Shishlui. So we're going to do some herping, spend some time in the bush. Uh, join us for the adventure. Right, so we've arrived here at Mkumbi Lodge, um, walking through some amazing sand felt or sand forest bush over here. Go to have a look at our accommodation. I know it's absolutely amazing, it normally is. Check out this accommodation. James and Aaron will be sharing the two single beds. Obviously it's good, good to be the king, I get the, the big bed. I'm going to put a link down below in the description with uh, Nkumbi's details. If you guys are ever out this side of the world, definitely make a turn here. You will not regret it. crazy thing about scorpions is that under ultraviolet they fluoresce. Here yeah, we've got some, you can see relatively large pincers on this one. We'll find some more just now and grab them and show you guys. Hey, good morning guys, day two. Uh, unfortunately with the lockdown curfew that we have in place, we weren't able to spend much time on the road last night. 
Um, but what I've got is a couple of the snakes that you do find in and around the area. Starting with this one here, it's the forest cobra. It's the largest cobra in Africa. They grow to an impressive length, uh, roughly 2.7 meters. This one's still a youngster. Um, this is what they've named uh, the brown forest cobra, which is a very unfortunate name for such a majestic animal. Um, they occur here along the, the coast, KwaZulu Natal. Um, they start off with a like a beige yellowy color move along to this absolute gloss black at the back um, almost very similar to those black-tailed kribos that you guys find in the states um, these snakes are highly venomous they have a neurotoxic venom uh, which is fast acting it acts on the central nervous system and uh, yeah if untreated bites will will be fatal fortunately they're a very intelligent and alert snake so encounters with them are rare and um, yeah they tend to to move off away from people way before we get into a uh, conflict situation with them let me show you some some more of the snakes that we find all right another very common snake that we find in this area is the puff adder uh, you can see this is a very brightly colored one noticeable by the chevrons going down their their back they come in a, a variety of colors these snakes are uh, cytotoxic they have long front fangs and uh, as you can see this one's keen to to move early in the morning let's just let them calm down a bit uh, try and see their, their faces they uh, exhibit a, a degree of sexual morphism or dark morphism with uh, the males having much longer tails than the females the venom that they carry is a potent cytotoxic venom which is um, cell destroying it is very a very painful bite from people who've been bitten they uh, they do say it's a very painful bite and it is responsible for quite a few bites in sub-saharan africa um, they rely predominantly on the cryptic coloration just to to go unnoticed and unfortunately people stand next to or onto the snake quite often um, obviously resulting in a in a defensive bite they are absolutely beautiful animals and uh, yeah, not something you want to mess around with too much. You can hear the hiss where they get their name from. Puff. They have an extremely fast strike for, for such a thick-bodied snake. Right, the third iconic species we find here is the green mamba. As you can see, this specimen here is an absolute beaut. Uh, green mambas are generally found within uh, coastal forests and stuff along the east coast of South Africa. However, here in Shushliwi, there are populations that do occur naturally. And just have a look at these colors. Absolutely amazing snakes. The venom they carry is also a potent neurotoxic venom which affects the central nervous system. Um, untreated bites from a green mamba would uh, result in collapse of the central nervous system, your respiratory system. Um, fortunately they spend most of their time up in trees in the coastal canopy and interactions or encounters with them are very very unusual. Um, people normally see them in the trees and call for snake removers or the snakes move off way before we get them. Unfortunately there's a lot of uh, other smaller green snakes that are misidentified uh, as green mambas. Um, a lot of our philothaminist uh, 
species and they uh, unfortunately are killed because they come close to houses for geckos and stuff like that. Um, Zululand is really a, a special area up here, um, especially in around uh, Shishliwi. It's a very, very diverse hotspot for reptiles. There's lots of other species that you find here. The big southern African pythons, um, Boomslang, vine snake, snouted cobras, uh, along with your, your other smaller animals, your garter snakes, your um, uh, shield nose snakes and stuff like that. If ever you are in the area, seriously, it, it is a great place to, to come and do some herping. Um, obviously, like I said earlier, we're in winter at the moment, so uh, snake-wise it's a bit quiet, but they in summer this place is alive it's absolutely amazing all right no trip to zululand would be complete without a, a mandatory visit to game park today we're going to drive through shishlui Imphalosi game reserve we'll see what uh, amazing animals we can find for you